Okay, just a quick video on my scientist uh, rocker slash uh, cauldron creep. Uh, run out of time here, so um, the uh, haunted house has to get going in about two or three weeks at this point. Um, uh, this year, obviously, because of uh, world events, uh, I, it's really just for my kids, you know? Uh, so usually we have we have two three birthday parties in one of them is my birthday. So I wasn't counting my birthday, but, uh, two of my kids' birthdays are in, uh, October. So, uh, this is part of their, uh, birthday party, uh, is the haunted house. So I'm doing the haunted house regardless. Um, and, uh, actually this was going to be the first year I was going to open it up to trick or treaters, but I don't think, uh, that's a good idea this year. So hopefully next year. Uh, so this is the, the, uh, mad scientist rocker slash cauldron creep. Uh, this is a little box that I made out of uh, one by uh, one inch by one and a half inch uh, strips of wood to make the box. Uh, a little bit of um, uh, particle board here, uh, the cheapest stuff I could get. Um, and I don't even know how big that is, I just cut it to match uh, the platform here. This is all scrap at this point. Um, and this stuff here is anodized aluminum that I bought by accident. I was trying to get anodized steel uh, as part of a project to make um, a brick barbecue. Uh, but I got this anodized, uh, and I figured, ah, i use it for something. So I stuck it in a corner, and now it's part of this. Um, and there'll be something in there. Now there'll be a, uh, a wiper motor kind of pulling this guy's arm back and forth. I wanted a lot more motion, but we're running out of time here. Uh, so I will rebuild it next year to get a little more motion. Maybe I'll have something uh, connected by a string down here, kind of bobbing up and down uh, with, the, uh, with the motor movement. Uh, and this guy's gonna get all dressed. And remember I, I did the normal, um, a zombifying with um, with just stain, and if you can see this, now really you should lay this guy down and kind of drip the stain in there so it gets between the cracks and crevices here um, to really, uh, but I'm doing everything super quick, so uh, just just a stain, stain them up, wipe the excess stain off, and then I got some neon pink and neon blue, mix it to get till I got the uh, the purpley kind of hue that I wanted. Uh, to make him sort of a uh, creep show esque, and he has a wig and he has a costume, and I have to do his arms next, and uh, that's about it. Later.